Breaking news, a teenager is lost in the Gulf tonight. It's been 10 hours since his friends started screaming for help at Blind Pass on Sanibel. When we talked to the one boy who swam in, he said they're local, they're all from Fort Myers, they're 17, and they were just coming to the beach for the day. They were too far to really do anything, and everyone was just standing around and praying. Thanks for joining us here on the Night Beat. I'm Amanda Hall. And I'm Russ McCaskey. The search continues tonight as family, friends, and strangers pray that he will be coming home. The Night Beat's Haley Zarconi joins us now live from Blind Pass. Haley, one of the swimmers was able to get back to shore. Two others were rescued. How far out were they from the shore? They were about 100 yards past the swimming buoy, according to the Sanibel Fire Department. And while two swimmers were rescued today, one teen is still out there tonight, and the search for him continues. A beach day for four friends took a turn for the worst Tuesday afternoon. We're sitting for a little bit. We started hearing some teenagers crying, like screaming, and at first I thought they were just playing, but then we started seeing their hands go, and um, they were calling for help. Maureen Coelho saw from the shore how quickly this current took three of the four people out into the Gulf. She's one of the people who made the call for help. There were three boys and a girl. The one boy swam in to call 911 to let people know, because they had started getting far. They were really far out, and we called 911, uh, you know, a few minutes passed and um, it was some rescues showed up. Engine 172 had um, put their rescue surfboard in the water with one of their one of our rescue swimmers. He had gone offshore and he was probably maybe 100 yards out or so past the swimming buoys. Um, made contact with two people that were in the water. Um, he helped them hang on to the rescue board. From the sky, the water, and land, multiple agencies searched Blind Pass for hours as beachgoers held out hope for the one who's yet to make it to shore. And right away I said to the boy, shouldn't you call his pa their parents? And he's like, no, I want to wait till they're rescued. And I'm just thinking as a mom and a grandma, you know, your heart sinks. He's 17, 18, you have your whole life ahead of you. I wish it would have had a 100% positive, you know, a uh, positive call and, and you know everybody got to go home tonight but unfortunately that's not the that's not what happened. And the Sanibel Fire Department told me that this is not a rip current issue, that the water here at Blind Pass had its normal current today. And while they did stop searching in the water at about 5 p.m. today, they are picking back up that search from the water tomorrow and are actively searching from both above in the air and on the ground tonight. On the Night Beat, Haley Zarconi, Wink News.